Sheik. Sheik has some moves, you know. Sheik has some moves to be synced to Ice Climbers. But. Oh, right now? Yep. Okay. Whatever. Alright, so there goes whoever I'm commentating with. Um, Alright. You don't know me. Alright, so. Inform, inform the people who you are. Alright, I am Will. The main casual here. Okay, the main casual. And we're gonna. <laughs> Uncasualify me, please. He, he's the guy who down bees Pikachu the entire game. But uh, basically, this is going to be a good match to kind of teach you the complexity of Super Smash Bros. Melee. I see. And uh, this is our Losers Finals best out of three. And what this is, it's called a wobble. It's basically the cruelest move in the game. You grab it's them and win? Basically. And uh, you can see in too much dog's face, he's just smug as shit. Like, he's just like... <laughs> Oh, this is why I picked him. You know, I saw, I saw fucking Nintendo do it on, on stream one day. And <laughs> seems like an easy way out. <laughs> we all know it's true. Like, let's, let's be honest here. Like, there's no way that no one says themselves. That looks like a cool, cool character. But this may or may not. Be, that may or may not be why it's not why he's not in Smash Four or they. No, no. They, they, they say it's because the three S can handle. But Sakurai kind of said it himself. Nobody cares about these fuckers. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's, it's, it's ice climbers. I haven't had a game since the 80s. No one knew their names until Smash Bros. They have more purpose on Smash Brothers than their actual games. Well, you can say that about a lot of the characters on Smash Brothers. Mega Man, let's be honest. He's Smash dead. Bros. Treat him better than Capcom has in the last 10 years. I hear you. Um, Captain Falcon. Oh my god, nice, nice ledge hog there. And basically what that is, you grab a ledge, only one person can be on it at a time. It's not like Smash 4 where, you know, one person just hops off and comes back on. You miss that ledge and someone's on there, shit out of luck. Basically that's what it is. Alright. Oh, it's not 1-1. One, one. Alright, Tuna Dog gonna take it. Yeah, free stock. I've never actually played Melee. I mean, I played some Project M, but. You've never played Melee? Not really, no. I've, I've played 64, I've pl I have not played Prawl. I've played Project M, and I've played Smash 4. I'm gonna sound like a drug dealer right now. Alright. You need to get yourself that metal there. Alright. You need to get yourself some that metal. It's the thing is that it's 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 a more complex version of Smash 4. And I mean you know it's really preference in my opinion, but you know, Smash 4 is you know, a lot a lot of skill and makes the win feel a lot more valuable, I guess. Oh my god, what can I Alright. As we see here we you know Sheik Oh my god, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Sheik. That was a great Yes. Boy, Number one in Smash. Um, Four. Sheik, Sheik's gonna have a little tough time from what I'm seeing. I thought Sheik might have a little bit of a, you know, way out of this one. But, you know, too much dog is really, really going in right now. And this is when Sheik and Zelda were not separate. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh, <laughs> uh, and, 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 you know, really... So the strategy here is really get rid of one of the ice bars. And she's having a... Oh, he, he gets a little greedy with the Ooh. wobbles. Serves him right. <laughs> so wait, one ice climber is gone. What does that mean for the... What's that? One ice climber is gone, so we can still keep fighting? So basically, one of them is just a computer player. Once they get knocked off, it's just one ice climber. And if the, the other one gets knocked off, then it's actually a stop. <laughs> All right. So you kind of have to know which one's which. So the blue one is the computer, the red one is the uh, too much dog. I see. The mastermind of the whole thing. And, you know, I mean, if it's just my opinion here, you know, really, she needs to go for a couple more down smashes here because she needs to separate them. They're very dangerous when you're not close to each other. When it is close, it just brings the wobble. And a wobble, you never know, grab. So, how similar is, like, say, Ice Climbers to Rosalina? 
you know, it's, it's, it's a similar strategy going up against them. Um, but not so much with, I mean, it, it, they're similar in the sense that, you know, having both of them gives you a clear advantage. But in the sense of what Ice Carmage does and basically sending around a wobble game and also you know, a little bit of spacing and a little bit of, you know, just, just a little bit of everything a little in, in a way. Rosalina, I think, suffers a lot more once Luma's gone than Ice Climbers. All right. I'm just going to try to try to hold this stock here because she really can't lose too, many, too much more percentage here. It's, 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 she, she's, she's, oh. she's that kill percent that gets a nice she's gonna go for, for too much dog. Honestly, oh, and, and a self-destruct right there. This, this probably might change the whole tide. Are you back on? Yeah, no, we're, 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 we're teaching the, the young grasshopper the ways of yes. the Yes. We're uncasual we're uncasualifying me. Pretty soon. He'll be a proper fox. He'll stop trying to go for Falcon Punch. Every 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 second. Oh who who would you play in melee? Melee. Probably Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff? That's, that's a damn fine choice, actually. Damn fine choice. I was actually watching some Hungry Box, like a montage of that, and I was like, I gotta play Jigglypuff now. I love Thank you. Hey, Andrew, you wanna switch out? Alright. So, Alms comes back and takes game one, we're going to game three. Wait, is this best 3 to 5? Yep. Okay. How are we doing on time? Dude, James missed a while. 10 to 30. There's a lot of trouble. There's a lot of trouble. How? Now, I know Project M was supposed to make Brawl, like, play like Melee. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Aside from, the, is it exact, or is there some still some differences between oh, Maul there, there, There's still some differences, you know. Project M is, of course, a fan man. So, you know, you're going to have some movies that, you know, I wouldn't say not necessarily sanctioned by the creators of Smash Bros., but just out of the, you just won't ever see it in Smash Bros. You just won't ever do it. Um, you know, a lot of characters, they change their movesets. Um, you know, and honestly, I mean, I, I, I wish we could stream Project Dumb right now, because I love Project Dumb gameplay. It's just jank. It's just all jank. Alright. Everything. <laughs> it's just jank boxes, <laughs> jank everything. And it's lovely. Uh, this is going to be really casual of me, but the thing I like mo most about Project M, all the different skins and, like, like... I, I like how something, you know, Magic Junker is out here. Are you saying casual is a toxic term? I apologize, Mad Magic Junkyard. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't apologize for your news. Alright, I see. You're experiencing the ways of the mountains. I am becoming a butterfly. I mean, after this, you think about more becoming a melee player or a Smash 4 player? Well, right now I'm a Smash 4 player. Right. And I'm doing moderately half decent at that I uh, beat Levante about one to two we can um, it was, you have no authority here it was an, it was an absolute destruction uh, Levante should be ashamed of himself Levante or Dope Man literally plays Brawl at home what? uh, Levante is a fan of Sonic Especially six, uh, especially Sonic 06. But the main thing about Smash Bros. is literally just have fun. All right. If you're not winning, that's okay. But as long as you're having fun, getting out, having experience, right. it's, it's you know, that's really what it's about. Ah, it's like kid, but right now, I'm just you know getting back in this match. Um, 
Ooh. You know, it, and eating it out, she really has to give her the nana here. All right. This is, this is a question about 64. Is, is like, this the only map that you play on 64? Typically this and Hyrule Castle. All right. Um, 64, I mean, like I said, it, 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 it's really a game made from an accident. It wasn't even supposed to have Nintendo characters, and they said, hey, you know, it looks good with Link and Mario. Let's put it on Nintendo. But yeah, there's only like two legal stages, and this one is really five. Um, and I think and it, 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 it gradually gets bigger. Um, you know, some stage, you know, Smash 4, some of the stages that are legal are a little jank, like Delfino, um, and Halberd. I don't even know if that's illegal now, but, um, it's going to take a break there. This, this, this is basically why Wobble sucks, you know. She's just gonna basically have to, have to sit there as it goes. To she, she's not even pressing stuff on the controller. Yeah, I mean, oh, she had a chance. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was I was expecting the epic comeback. I oftentimes question where Ice Climber would be on a tier list without that. Wait, you gonna attack me now? Um, I would not be able to tell you, but. Was Ice Climber still good in Brawl? Uh, yeah, they were actually even better. Because of the slower mechanics. And apparently, Wobbling is. or Chain Grabbing is ridiculous. So. yeah. Yeah. Maybe second like best character in the game. And this may be an impossibility, but I was watching uh, Etika, and he was saying stuff like uh, there's a chance that like Wolf or Ice Climbers could be in Smash 4 still. Um, well, basically, they announced the last three characters, which is Cloud, Glory, and um, I honestly, you know, I don't think there's going to be any more characters announced for the game. There has to be a kind of end to it. Because they have to announce characters for Smash 5. Um, but also, I think some other characters have priority over Ice Climbers. I know Ice Climbers has, you know, the veteranship, but I'd much rather have Wolf. Wolf would probably be a lot better than Ice Climbers. No one gives a shit about Ice Climbers without Smash Bros. No one, time people pick, no one says to themselves, hey, remember that Ice Climbers game? It was awesome. Everyone just plays ice climbers, and plays ice climbers to jank. Like, let's be honest. It's okay, I've landed like. Oh, a nice four day. How excited are you for like, uh, Corrin and Bayonetta? Um, not excited for Corrin. Oh. Mainly because. There's already a fuck ton of fire in the And. There's no way so, so I just anybody. Just the game hasn't even come out yet. Oh, True. Let's just say that. The game hasn't even come out yet. Nobody really said to themselves, hey, you know that new Fire Emblem character? I want her in the game. Or her, him or her. They're going to switch genders. Yeah. But it's just like, dude, why does that guy keep putting in Fire Emblem characters? With counters. Like, honestly. <laughs> The only Fire Emblem character I'll prove of is Prima Troy. And that's because he brings Tiger. But other than that, nah. Bayonetta doesn't technically have a counter, but it's like witch time, right? Yeah. Um. I think she actually does. I need to watch the trailer again. But, um. Because it. Because what I, from I remember, um, there's like the thing where, like, if they hit you and you use witch time, then they slow down. So that's kind of a counter? In a way, yeah. But it's like a counter stun. That move is really fan service. I don't know if you ever watched or played that or not. I have not. But, you know, there is, that move is pretty much almost exactly the same in the game. You know, you hit, you know, your blocker, avoid button at a certain time, which time does pop up. So. They, they, they made a character well, but she's old. I don't know what I see in the trailer. I can't judge her. Okay, we don't have a team. So, assuming from the streak of, um, 
a uh, very s <laughs> oh that's game. Wait, does Dream wait, does Dreamland not do the whole blowing mechanic in melee? Yeah. And there's a tournament edition that turns that off. Oh. So once it kinda becomes accepted with the community, it'll be gone, but we'll see. Now personally, I think my biggest issue with Smash is that I don't, when I'm in the middle of a battle where someone might be thinking about their next move or like thinking about, oh, this person just did this, now I gotta do this, I'm literally like, oh god, they did this, oh god, they gotta, oh. <laughs> like, it, it's, it has, to, it's a hundred percent instinct and I cannot like learn to control that. You know, it, the thing is that it may seem like instinct. But it, it, it just becomes situational after a lot of practice. And you kind of say, like, when you get someone in the air, like, okay, these are the estimated trajectories of the character. Choose one. That's basically what it looks like. And a lot of lifts, but also a lot of successes. It's kind of what Smash thought processes are, but it's, it's, it's a combination of muscle memory for the tech skills and a little bit of luck. Let's be honest, a little bit of luck. Oh, oh. Grab that ledge. Oh. Ah. And pops that little <laughs> estimate <laughs> child to the sky. <laughs> and I'm liking my arm because you know, really, you know, even though, you know, she wants to keep her distance in this matchup, you know, she's really being aggressive here, but also being very successful with that, you know, aggression. Oh. Oh, no, wait. Kind of looked away for a second and <laughs> turned Zelda and just barely. Is Zelda any useful in melee? You know, the thing about Zelda is that the hitboxes are so small. So you're missing a lot of hits. You're not getting rewarded. No. Zelda's best move is down B and that turns her into shit. Because, <laughs> like, in my personal opinion, even in Smash 4, I think she's still pretty bad. You know, the thing is, I think, you know, because I played Zelda a little bit in Smash 4, she can be a very strategic player, honestly. And, and, and like I was saying before, I don't think there's actually a bad character in Smash 4. I think it's a lot of, you know, not known... Um, you know, not known meta about the game. It's still new. It's, it's, it's young, but it's still new. Alright. Let's switch out. Still pretty young. Alright. Alright. But really, the meta game for Smash 4, or Smash or Melee, is still evolving. I just saw a tech video the other day, so... It's an old game. 15 years old, but it's still evolving, and that's why it's still played today. The game stays fresh and has like the, one of the highest replayability games, or replayability like the games I've seen in a long time. That's how you know it's getting late. I've been here for too long. I'm sorry to slur my words. I sound too long. Don't worry, I sound like that all the time. <laughs> I promise I'm not drunk all the time. Mix it up a bit. Not to, that's one of the other things about the game. Don't stay typical. 
Oh. Now is ice climber like if you lose one ice climber, are you basically dead? No. And I think can work pretty well so solo and oh Damn, damn good. Good games. I mean, you know, as good as too much Jaws play, unfortunately, we have Ice Climbers in the finals. And I know this is biased commentary because me and Ross are actually friends, but. You know, I wasn't paying attention. Too much Jaws. So, we now have Grand Finals. Alright. Too much dog. 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 Too Trill.